Hey yo YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here, and let's play some more Dragon Quest XI. So last time we got all six of the orbs and we took them to the, the Tree of Life. Well, I took them to the first forest and went to the Tree of Life. A bunch of crazy stuff happened. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Basically, they're a Mortigan, the, the evil dude. He, he's now the Luminary, or he was, but he destroyed the power of the Luminary. And we are a fish now. Yeah. I don't really know why, but we're a fish now. Uh, sorry I'm getting a little bit of a late start on this tonight. Uh, I'm going to try and get some more videos up tomorrow, though. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Why are we a fish? I'm curious, actually. This is an interesting turn. Oh, you're awake! You're alert! You're alive! Your breath was getting shorter, you couldn't breathe the water, but look at you now! It's an unequivocal miracle! Queen Marina! <laughs> okay, so I guess probably, oh, from the sound of it... Oh look, you can float upward and descend. That's neat. But uh, from the sounds of it, Queen Marina turned us into a fish to prevent us from drowning? That's nice. It says, it's wonderful to see that you finally, uh, you've finally woken finally. Uh, you've been sleeping ever since you fell into the sea. We're safe down here, but awful things are happening ashore. Speak to Queen Marina if you wish to find out more. Her majesty awaits you in her palace to the north. If you're feeling fit enough, I'd urge you to go forth. Can we just ignore the uh, rhyming? I think we're going to be here for a little while, so uh, uh, strap in, guys. There's going to be quite a bit of rhyming, it seems like. I don't know, not everyone down here speaks in rhymes, at least. What is this dude doing? Oh, he's, I thought he was dead. I thought he was just, like, just a dead body up there. Okay, so, we're going to the north, it said. Oh, look, we couldn't go down there. Remember, we weren't able to go down there whenever we were a human. Oh, that's neat, actually. There's this whole, like, area down here. Oh, wow. This is kind of cool, actually. Sorry, I'm just, like, exploring again for the first time. Again for the first time. That makes sense, right? Oh, nice. It's like a little, like, an upstream or something. That's cool. Oh, yeah, here's the palace. I knew where the palace was. We've actually been to the palace before. I forgot. I forget that this is a place we've been already. Just, we weren't a fish, though. Yeah, we, we couldn't swim under... Wait... Why could we breathe underwater before, but not now? I wonder what happened that made like made us unable to breathe underwater. I think it's this girl I talked to. Yeah, there we go. Let's talk to the queen. You say our guest has finally recovered from his wounds? Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. Majesty. Don't fear for me. I'm not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. Ah, there you are, old friend. <laughs> Or should I say, new fish? You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. When first my subjects brought you here, it gave me such a shock. To see you bruised and broken like a ship wrecked on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The sea swarms with his spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. Many troubled months have come and gone since your arrival. As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. You cannot know how glad I am to see you fully healed. But soon the spell will fade, and you must once more take the field. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, 
You'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your eyes. I saw you battle bravely by the World Tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. I saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you are ready, follow me to see what happened next. Yeah, I am kind of curious to see what happened to, uh, like, the party members, Veronica and Silvando and everyone. Like, are they okay? Are they dead? It says a millennium or more has passed since the last the queen allowed her most private de de demesne. What is that word? I've never, I've never seen that word in my life. Demes, I don't know, to be seen. Uh, the tidings Queen Marina means to impart are of the utmost Im import. Uh, the odds are great in getting greater. Don't make her wait. It may be too. It may be too late later. Is he rhyming too? I thought the dudes didn't rhyme for some reason. Why did I think that? I don't know. Can I talk to you? I need to talk to that shark over. Ooh, I can talk to sharks now. I can go to the weapon shop now. Her Majesty's waiting for you in her private room. It's just through these doors. Don't cause any trouble, or you'll have me to deal with. <laughs> It's not an accent that I do well, sorry. Okay. Auto-saving, nice. <laughs> I really like the auto-save, but I think it does it a little bit too much. Like, why did I need to auto-save there? I think it just does it when you enter new areas, actually. Like, any new area you enter, it auto-saves. An eon's passed since last I brought a human to this cave. It is the private parlor of the Queen Beneath the Waves. Behold the Pearl of Wisdom, jewel of we the ocean's daughters. It lets its bearer view the world through any drop of water. I've summoned up a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now, let's ascend into the rain and take a look around. Whenever you are ready, touch your fin against the pearl, and you shall see what's come to pass there in your airy world. Okay, so touch the pearl? Is that what I'm doing? Why can't you just tell me what happened? I don't understand why I have to, like, touch this pearl and... <laughs> Okay, so that we can see it, I guess, rather than them try and explain it. Yeah, because the once fair land of Adria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan destroyed its heart, the Holy World Tree fell. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is that the, the Yggdrasil is gone now, basically? Upon its fall, the world was with a searing storm despoiled. Trees and grasses burned to ashes. Lakes and rivers boiled. Burning boulders fell to earth and pulverized the land. Mountains cracked and realms were racked at his unholy hand. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. The lucky few who rode the storm out struggled to survive. Their days are filled with desperation. Misery and tears. I see them quake and tremble, but I cannot calm their fears. Who is this little girl? Is that 
Jade? Whoa, oh god. This is like Kingsman or something. No, that's not Jade. This is present day, isn't it? Is someone there? I guess it's just some little girl. I thought this was a flashback for some reason. Please help me. Oh, we're not a fish anymore. Oh no. Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. I just want to be a fish the rest of the game. Can that be a game? Like, can we make a spin-off game where you just play the entire game as a fish? Our homes are gone. Our families and friends, too. All we have left is our lives. We can't just sit down and die. We have to keep walking. We have to keep following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. <sighs> Don't give up, okay? This hero guy won't let us down. Once we get to the last bastion, everything will be fine. You'll see. A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe haven awaits. <laughs> Amid the black depths of despair, a spark of light still shines. A man who gives the people hope in these benighted times. Yet that light too shall soon succumb to evil's ceaseless claim. Only you can take that spark and kindle it to flame. Yggdrasil has crashed to earth. Her light has disappeared. In her place, the Lord of Shadows, Citadel of Fear. He took the sacred world tree's power and now makes it his own. Foul Mordigan commands the world from his unholy throne. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. His flying servants sweep the skies. The seas swarm with his divers. Elizarin, the fiend that seeks to devastate my nation. Another one of Mordigan's detestable creations. I've cast a spell to hold him back, but need it to be stronger. The barrier's at breaking point and cannot last much longer. I'd hoped that I could save my realm. It was a foolish notion. Compared to his, my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. Ere long, the barrier will fall, and Nautica will too. Marauding beasts may take my life, but they shall not take you. Our time grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We face our fate as one. Okay, so I was really expecting her to turn me back into a fish right there, I mean to a human, and she did not. So yeah, now we're just going to leave, I guess. I was just checking to make sure there wasn't anything at all down there, because this is like the secret room or whatever, right? There's really not going to be any secrets in the secret room. Alright, whatever, let's just go. 
I don't, I don't even know if I could really pick up anything as a fish anyways. I've got a little bag though, so how, does that not count? No, oh, it's just me. It's, I'm all alone. I'm still level 32 though, I didn't lose my levels. I was a little worried about that. I just wonder like, how far the end game is still. Still in Nautica. Because we've pretty much been to the entire, like, world. It's just... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still looking for stuff. I don't see anything, though. I guess I should just leave. Where... Is it this person down here that I'm talking to? Sorry, I'm looking at the map, not the screen. I should probably stop doing that. Wait a second. I think I'm at the wrong place. There we go, it's that guy. <laughs> sorry. Okay, she says, Queen Marina's convened her subjects in the central square and she's about to make a speech. I beseech you to attend to and listen to her lecture. Everyone's assembled already, ready to hear her words. There's no time to worry, you have to hurry. I think he rhymes too, but he rhymes in a different way. I'm just not, like, reading it properly. So I guess now that I've been a fish, I'll be able to talk to that shark another time and buy stuff. I don't know, because how else would I buy, like, weapons as a fish? How curious you are, my friend. I showed you fearful sights, and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. And yet you've weathered every blow, prevailed against all strife. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. Find the fading sparks of hope and kindle them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of here and there throughout the land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and bring an end to this dark age of dread. While the luminary lives, there's hope for people still. You cannot fail. You must prevail. It is the world tree's will. Beware! The barrier shakes and breaks! Shadow's followers give fond farewell short shrift. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be swift. <sighs> Do not lose heart. Do not look back until your time is through. Remember, you're the luminary. We believe in you. Citizens of Nautica, give your lives to the Lord of Shadows. That would suck, just uh, having to float away. I mean, it'd be nice to float away and survive, but it would suck to, like, have to watch all those people just get, like, massacred while you just, di like, dip away, basically. 
but you are the luminary. Your life is a bit more important there than theirs. I mean, not to be conceited or anything, but, you know, it's true. It sounds like she's saying that we have to go find uh, the party members now, which uh, I hope we're not, like, without other party members for a while, because that's going to make things a lot, a lot more complicated, especially because uh, we don't even have anything. Oh, well... I guess we do have spells to attack more than one enemy. I was going to say, we only have, like, a sword. We can't use a boomerang or anything. Yes, take a bite of the prawn. Because she said we were going to be fished, remember? So I assume this is what she means. This dude was waiting. This whole time. John hooked himself a big one. Could it be the legendary man eating mackerel? Let's reel him in and find out. <laughs> yes, I caught something. I actually caught something. Blue John's gonna eat tonight. <sighs> Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after all. Well, this is awkward. Hi. What's your name? Blue John, you said? Well, my name's Red Chan. Nice to meet you. Who, who, who the heck are you? I, and what were you doing on the end of my hook? I don't care how hungry you are, you don't go pinching the bait off another man's line. <laughs> hey, now. Don't cry, sonny. <laughs> I will convey everything with my eyes. You sniffling, but it must be something serious. I'm the main character. I can't speak a word, so I have to just tell you everything by stern looks. So listen. Blue John's gonna help you out. We fisher folk who gotta look after each other, ain't we? You can stay the night in my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world. But it'll do you for a day or two. When you're ready, you can head over to the last bastion. They'll see you right. The fella running the place is a bony Fido hero. Right, now that's decided. Let's head for shore. Hold on tight, lad. Things are about to get choppy. Well, how nice of this dude to just open his home to this random stranger he fished out of the ocean. All right, so we got an accolade for, it says awarded for uh, accepting the advice of Queen Marina and setting out from her undersea kingdom to kindle the few remaining embers of hope back to, f to flame. So, we are no longer a fish, which sucks, but hopefully we'll be able to go back and buy something from that guy. Do we have our items back? Yeah, we have our gold. Yeah, I have my equipment. Cool. Nice. Alright. I didn't expect that. I was kind of expecting them to like empty out my uh, equipment or something. <gasps> Wait a second! This is that guy. Remember, we talked to that guy. He was on. He was fishing right here. Oh my God, that's hilarious. We've actually met this guy. Ah, hi there, Sonny. So you finally roused yourself from your slumbers, eh? <laughs> Blue John and say good morning. But there ain't no morning to speak of these days. You hadn't noticed. Why we've seen nothing but dark sky since the day of the disaster. Just look at the state of it. There was an almighty booming and rumbling, and then great gouts of blackness started billowing up from the castle over in Heliodor. Since then, nothing's been right. That was the last time any of us saw the sun. That ain't good. We better hide, and fast. <laughs> that was 
a close one. Them monsters started pouring out of Heliodor Castle about the same time as the Blackness. The rotters seem to think they own the place. They've never come so near before, though. They'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And their Blue John was thinking he'd found himself a safe spot. Listen, uh, seems the victuals round these parts are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny, but I reckon you'd best be on your way. You'll be safer over at the last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spot you. That hero feller will look after you, I'm sure. He's a good one, that one. A spark of hope in these dark old times. Why do I think that this hero person is just me? But like from the future or something. Steer a course due west until you hit Cobblestone Falls. The last bastion lies just beyond. Okay, so we're going west to Cobblestone Falls, it sounds like. Yeah, but it won't show this hero guy's face at all. And I just have a feeling it's us. Like, because uh, in other, like, Dragon Quest games, I think the generic name is, like, Hero or something. I don't know. It might be a thing in all Dragon Quest games, I guess. But, uh, yeah. So, I feel like it's that's us. Just, I don't know. There, there must be some sort of time travel element in this game anyways. Because, think about it, like, how else could the world come back from this if we don't, like, reverse it somehow? Okay, we're gonna rest until, uh, I guess rest until the equivalent of dawn? We well, wanna go talk to this guy. Alright, what does he got? It's nice only having to look at one character, though. Like, not having to wonder which items I should get for what characters and blah 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 okay well let's just go ahead and rest until dawn see if we can make our way over to uh, cobblestone falls I'll actually use the horse this time too here we go horse there come my pony okay oh wrong way that's like look at that thing Jesus that's creepy looking. Okay. Just a big skeleton dragon, I guess. Okay, I see. I see Cobblestone Falls. Alright. Onward we march. On my opponent. Wait a second. I want to fight one of these slimes. Because sometimes they're metal slimes. Ooh, no. But they're like... They're called vicious slimes? What are these things? I've never seen them before. That's crazy. I don't remember seeing them before. Alright, they're not very strong though, so whatever. I was really hoping there would be a metal slime, but it's all good. I'm hoping to do a, a like metal slime part 2 at some point, because I would love to go and just kill a bunch of metal slimes and spend like a whole day doing it. That would be fun. It would be really fun, actually. I'd, I've done that with most of the other Dragon Quest games at some point, just to, just to level up. But it's like it's such a, like, just a long process that I would really have to. I don't know. I, I would have to. Can I get up there with the horse? I'm so close to like clipping up there. Oh, there we go. I would have to just cut out the the battles that I finally ran into them though, and have that be a, a part. This, this horse really is not good at uh, climbing for some reason. As if horses are supposed to be good at climbing. But I hear horses are good in, in climbing in other games. So, why not this game? What is it? I think Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that like people use the horses to climb? I saw the thing where the guy uh, played through it without climbing at all, and uh, you can use horses to climb to some extent apparently okay so head to the last bastion in the area south of Heliodor where would that be right there like so we just have to go keep going this way I guess 
You said head west until Cobble Cobblestone Falls. What does this guy say? You know, I've been posted here for months, and you're the first person who's made it all the way here alone. Clearly, you can handle yourself. Well, you'll be happy to hear that you're safe now. Head south and go through the big gate. That leads to, into the Alliance Bastion. You'll find other survivors there. Well, good to know that I was going the wrong direction. And it was just going to let me. Wait a second. Isn't this the same... It says the Mingle Grove is up his head. Uh, okay, so no, that's not it. Wait, it said south. Did I not even look north or south? Wait. Oh, I was like, I am going the right way. Sorry, I had to re reorient myself and remember which which way south was. But I, I remembered. I was it was my first instinct. I just uh, I don't know. I didn't see the other little path to the bottom. Yeah, this is totally this is uh our home, right? So the the last bastion is the same place that our home is. We're gonna see Gemma, I bet. I guarantee you we're gonna see Gemma, guys. Ooh, okay. Well, let's just let's go on in. We'll go in. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna cut it there, but let's just see what happens. I do want to see what happens. No real reason for me to do cliffhangers, anyways. Okay. This is a long path. This is our hometown, though. This is for sure our hometown. I guarantee this hero guy is us. There you are. And where did you run off to, might I ask? It's Gemma. And actually, I forgot Sandy, too. I didn't even recognize the dog for some reason. It's me. No, because she would have freaked out if she had seen me as an adult, even. I feel like... I think she would have recognized me. Oh my. It's... It's really you, isn't it? You're alive. And you... You've come back to us. Oh, I've been so, so, so worried. Especially after... Well, we heard such awful things. <laughs> oh, Sandy. You're right, of course. This is the best news I could have hoped for. And here I am blubbering like a baby welcome home <coughs> it's not quite the cobblestone we grew up in is it no we've been through a lot after you left this terrible man named Jasper came I... I'll never forget his eyes they were so cold. He he rounded us all up in the center of the village, and then he ordered his men to kill us. But we were lucky. Not everyone is as cruel as Jasper. No, another soldier came and told him to stop. He said there was no need to take our lives. But that didn't stop them burning the village to the ground and locking us all up in the castle. Still... That one good man made sure we came to no harm. <coughs> Sorry, Sandy, you're right. He's just got home after a long journey. He doesn't want to hear me blathering on. Come on, let's go and see the one person who'll be even happier to see you than me. I'm assuming that's our mom, probably. But here we are, we're at the last bastion, guys. Uh, there is a place to save right here too, so I'm gonna do that. But uh, we'll just end it here because we're over the over the 30 minute mark, and why not? We've uh, we've seen that Jim is alive at least, so that's we that's you know a relief. But I assume we're gonna go talk to our mom next time and see who this hero dude is because that's the big question right now. All right, well that's it for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I release videos every day of the week, so hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notifications every time I upload. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone have a great life.